how a lady looks tends to play a vital role in how she's addressed. In our society today, a lot of women pay great care and attention to the appearance of their hair. There's even an adage that says a woman's hair is the charm of her beauty, her pride, dignity and glory. It's part of her superpowers, her crown. I have a date tonight and I'm here at Tasala HQ to have my hair styled by the head hairstylist Dupe Talabi and then my look will be complete. I'm Jemima Osunde and this is Fashion Insider. I'm good. Welcome. To Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. Okay, so let me turn you around so you can see the back. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I should not go for this date. I don't have a photo. Right. <laughs> or do the photo shoot and then go for your date. Yes. It's so good. I'm I glad love you it. like Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now that my hair is done, my look is finally complete, and that's all thanks to you, Dupe. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. You have your bachelor's degree in computing and business studies. Yes, you I also do. have your postgraduate degree in education management. Indeed. How did you come about the hair business? <laughs> hair, I think I kind of fell into it, but this was straight out of university. Um, I started working in the corporate world and I just did not enjoy it. And I decided I wanted to explore something that I enjoyed and I could make a career out of and hair just happened to be something that I liked doing and I thought well why not so it was just sort of an experiment but one that looked out. Thank you so it wasn't like it was a passion from childhood or anything else? Not particularly to be honest no. <laughs> what inspired Tasala HQ that name? The name Tasala is actually my middle name. Oh yes so it's a legit real name like my name is not made up. It's yes. your headquarters. Exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> it's a Sala HQ, yes. A lot of women are wearing their hair natural these days. Mm -hmm. What do you think is responsible for this trend? I think a lot of people are, you know, moving towards the more natural way of life. Even in their diets, you know, everything we do now, we're trying to be more organic. And I think naturally it's shifted to hair as well. And now there's a lot more awareness. There's a lot more products to help us manage our hair. There's just so much more freedom and a lot more acceptance with natural hair. And I think that's why, and it's beautiful. Is that your specialty? Cause you seem very passionate about natural hair. I am very passionate about natural hair and I have natural hair, but I do everything. I mean, I'm a trained hairdresser. Yeah. So I love hair, whether it's natural, relaxed, whatever it's Status. My focus is more on getting hair healthy. Healthy, so that's exactly. your specialization. Yes. So anyone who's looking for a healthy hair exactly. should come to so you. So that's what we're all about. Okay. So when you have a client, like I walked in today with no mm -hmm. idea of what I wanted, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> when you have clients walking, especially people like me that don't even know what they want, right? How do you decide on what to do? How do you 
choose a hairstyle or hair do? Um, a lot has to do with communication with the client. So it depends on, first of all, I have to look at the lifestyle of the person. Are they going to be able to manage what I'm going to give them? What the occasion is, is it an everyday hairstyle or is it a wedding, is it a date like you, it's, is it, you know, whatever it is, you have to look at what the occasion is to make sure it's suitable and then look at the person as well, their face shape, how they carry themselves, how they dress and make sure that it all just ties in together. You mentioned yeah. the occasion, so you make hair for any occasion, weddings? Weddings, dates, if it's an everyday corporate look, you know, more, you, you, can, you can add color, we can add texture, it just depends on the client. Depends on the client. Mm -hmm. Do you make wigs? Yes, we do. You make wigs from scratch? Or? We make wigs from scratch, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. How long does it take you to make an average wig? An average wig actually takes about two hours, just the construction of the wig. But then there's other elements that can come in, like if you need to color the hair or style it a certain way, that can then add more time. But just the basic construction, about two hours about and we're good. Hours. Mm -hmm. How much so. is, what's the average cost <laughs> for making a wig? With that varies because we use um, different types of hair. So the hair is what really determines, we have a fixed charge for the service, but the hair we use then determines the cost of the wig. So it can range anything from about 30, in fact, from about 20,000 to, it can be as That's high. That's the making yes. of the wig. Do you offer a... Uh, Hair for sale as well. So yes, we do. We so offer there's a package of just making the wig. Or so you have the option of buying hair, loose bundles on its own, because some people just like to buy and then use it at a later date okay. um, or fix a weave or whatever. Or some people like to make it into a wig. So we sell hair, we sell closures, we sell frontals, we sell you know the wigs and we sell different types of hair everything you need we sell color we sell products everything you need i can to tell you're passionate about the hair service. <laughs> yes. i mean your work has been featured in very prominent magazines we have yes. genevieve forbes to mention a few mm -hmm. what do you think is your strength that has brought you this far i think one thing is i've put a lot into the hair industry in terms of career in terms of learning and thankfully it's paying off and i think it's also how you handle clients and keeping everything fresh keeping it new keeping it current as well so that you're always on top of your game and it's attractive to people people want what's new what's hot what suits me and you have to be able to offer the whole thing to your clients that's, that's interesting yes <laughs> it's not easy being a business owner in nigeria we all know that <sighs> so tell me what are some of the challenges you face gosh i mean one thing that's common across all businesses in nigeria you are your own government pretty much mm -hmm. lights water you know just traffic everything just affects you like planning for to go and see a client you have to take into account traffic generator issues or the pump is broken and oh it's a lot yes, <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot yeah, a whole lot well done how yes. do you handle competition because i know oh there are lots of hair businesses in lagos mm -hmm. so how do you handle competition i think with competition i don't even know if i would call it competition i think it's a it's good to be aware of what is going on in industry and what other people are doing but I don't see it as competition more like inspiration sometimes and then also focus on just getting better at what you need to do sometimes people you see as competition is are people you actually could be learning from so rather than seeing it as something to you know not be nice about see it as a challenge or something you want to aspire to and just learn from it and grow from it that's absolutely amazing yeah where do you see tasala in five years oh in five years yeah. um i see tasala also being not just a salon but a whole experience for clients and then also as a training center for aspiring hairstylists as well that's something we're already doing on a small scale but i would love to be able to say oh we have a tasala hair school oh. you know for training and also have our own hair product line as well our hair brand as well i'm sure there are a lot of people watching now who have mm. dreams of becoming you know big business owners like mm. you maybe not just even in the hair business what do in you what business. advice can you give to anyone in nigeria right now who's trying to start up something i think the most important thing for me anyone who's trying to start a business is understand the business 
understand what it is you want to do and train for it learn how to do it properly so that you i mean you don't have to be the best at it to start off with as long as you can start with something but make sure that you have your skills and the knowledge on point so that you can carry that that will take you a long way and then you have to have the right personality for business oh, yeah. you have to have patience you have to be ready to work to grow and you have to make sure that you can handle people the right way because you'll get a lot of challenges and it's easy to want to quit but you have to have the backbone for it as well yeah. just persevere there. perseverance thank that's you. it yes so much i've had the best time with you today thank you i think you totally killed my hair nice. my I date is it. going to be drooling over nice, this nice, nice. <laughs> thank you so we much wait for to me. hear you know the results and oh yeah i will keep you i will keep you updated <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs> all right guys thank you can you. see i look absolutely amazing let me know what you think about my hairdo in the comment section don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Sundani tv until the next episode i'm going out to have fun at my date. <laughs> I'm Jemima and this is Fashion Insider.